Women want to have the protection of those single-sex spaces, and why it is wholly appropriate, therefore, that if we need to clarify the law, that we do so to say that sex is defined by your biology. Not someone who's assigned your gender at birth. You are born a male or you are born a female. A male is an adult human, you know, man is an adult human male, female is, a woman is an adult human female. These are not facts that we should be disputing in the 21st century. This is the basics of biology that we talk about in our classrooms as it's someone who was a teacher day in, day out, someone who had a responsibility as a head of year for the safeguarding and welfare of children who taught in an only girls' school as well as mixed-sex schools as well. And understanding the challenges that come with some of those households and some of those young individuals is about making sure that women and girls feel protected and that the trans community rightly have their rights and protections as well. And it's befuddling, Sir George, that to people in Stoke-on-Trent, North Kidsgrove and Talk, that this debate even has to happen, because to them it is obvious that when the Equality Act was written, that sex was clearly talking about the biological definition of what is a man and what is a woman. But of course they are respect and understand that if therefore needs to be clarity, that we should just get on with doing that entirely. I want my daughter to grow up, to look at heroines, like the Honourable Member for Canterbury, like the Honourable Member for Edinburgh South West, like people like J.K. Rowling, who have been brave enough and bold enough to stand up for what they believe is important because their rights should not be eroded in order to allow an extremist minority shouting very loudly on social media, pursuing a very hardline agenda that is not in keeping with the majority, as we've seen in this own debate of the country.